this video will teach us the process and the technique on how to analyze absolute, de absolute dependent motion of two particles. So in some types of problems, the motion of one particle will depend on the corresponding motion of one particle. So the most common representation are blocks connected by a cable support so like for this figure so the movement of block A is dependent on the movement on the block B and vice versa wherein they are connected by a cable that is supported by a pulley so the technique or the process of analysis of the relationship of displacement velocity and acceleration of two blocks supported by cable is very simple so the first thing to consider is to establish a fixed point of origin or a datum so in this first figure your datum is here at point O so this is fixed so it will never change its position when the two blocks A and B moves so what how are we going to analyze the relationship of the displacement and velocity. Notice that when block A move, so the as the displacement of block A goes nearer to point C or to the datum, the displacement of block B goes farther so it goes away from the datum so we can represent this relation by an equation so notice that the position a and the position b are subjected to change upon motion but the distance cd this arc length will never change no matter how the displacement at A and B is changing therefore we consider the length of the cable only the length AC and the length DB so we have here S sub A plus S sub B is equal to L where S is the displacement your L is the length of cable so we only refer to this length so we, we do not um, get the total length so in order to get the velocity so we all know that the velocity is the time derivative of displacement so let us review ds over dt is equal to v so if we get the derivative so this will be this is the l is value of l is constant so what will happen it will become va plus vb equals zero so this will be your first derivative 
Now, if we get the second derivative, so what will happen? So, dv over dt is equal to the acceleration. So, this will become a sub a plus a sub b equals 0. And that is the relationship. So, therefore, VA is equal to negative VB and A sub A is equal to negative A sub B. So, let us consider the second figure. So, in this figure, so we have here 3 pulleys or three wheels we have two blocks A and B and the length that is subjected to change is the displacement S A and your displacement S B so how are we going to analyze the, re the relationship of two displacement so we have first to look for the datum so here the datum is this wheel or this and the other one the other pulley so as these two remains in the same position upon motion so the displacement or the distances that are subjected to changes s a and s b so this red lines also refers to the length of the cable that are not included so if we make an equation we have here S A so this is the equation of the displacement that is equal to L so S A plus we have S B so this is twice so we have S B here and another S B here so S A plus 2 S B plus this height so this height is fixed each therefore this is constant equals l so if we take the deriv the time derivative so we will have v a plus 2 v b equals 0 therefore v a equals negative 2 v b so as well as the acceleration a sub a is equal to negative 2 a sub b so your velocity is v your acceleration is a so this is the relationship in the velocity and the relationship in the acceleration So, another figure. So, this is the third figure. So, we have here two blocks A and B supported by a cable and two pulleys. So, let us establish the datum or the fixed point so we can have our datum here so this are datum and another datum here so what are the length subjected to change so this one so when the block moves so this length will be subjected to change so let's call this S A 
and this length so this length is also subjected to change so this is s b while this one let's call this if this is s b this is a fixed point so this if this is h this is h minus s b so now from this figure we can make the equation s a plus 2 s b plus h minus s b is equal to l so from here so we have to take the derivative so this will become s a plus so s b equals l but in this case since this is fixed so this is considered as a constant so therefore this if this is a constant And this is also a constant if we take the derivative of this equation so here your velocity at a is equal to 2 or negative 2 v b while your acceleration at A will be also equal to negative 2 A sub B so that is how we conduct analysis of the relationship between the displacement velocity and acceleration of two particles.